two, one, ignition. And liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V, carrying two American heroes, drawing a line to the stars for all of us. Finally. Boeing's Starliner spacecraft, carrying two veteran NASA astronauts, launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida, atop an Atlas rocket. Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams are on their way to the International Space Station. And Sonny and I are honored to share this dream of space flight with each and every one of you. After years of delays and setbacks, this test flight marks the first time Starliner has flown with a crew on board. I want to give my personal congratulations to the whole team that went through a, a lot of trial and tribulation, but they had perseverance. And that's what we do at NASA. We talked earlier about, you know, the tens of thousands of parts that have to work on the spacecraft, on the launch vehicle and on the ground, and even the weather has to work for us. And today it all lined up. After the spacecraft rendezvous and docks with the ISS, Wilmore and Williams will spend about a week there before returning home. If everything checks out, Boeing Starliner would be set to join the SpaceX Dragon as the two commercial company vehicles ferrying astronauts to and from the ISS. Unlike the SpaceX Crew Dragon, which lands in the water, the Starliner spacecraft will return to Earth under parachutes, landing at White Sands, New Mexico. Until now, the spacecraft has been more star-crossed than Starliner. The first uncrewed test flight in 2019 was cut short by software issues. The vehicle failed to make it to the ISS, but returned safely. Nearly three years later, an uncrewed Starliner made it to the station and back. Cut five. And touchdown Starliner. We're touching down in the desert of New Mexico. But issues were found with the parachute system and wiring bundles had been wrapped with 4,300 feet of flammable tape. NASA and Boeing are hoping, as the saying goes, the third time is the charm. John Zarella for CGTN America, Cape Canaveral, Florida.